Hey everybody, Catherine here with another MyCom tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly synchronize audio in Adobe Premiere. Previously, on a MyCom tutorial with me, we talked about capturing quality audio by recording sounds separately from video. But once you have those two separate files, how do you match up the audio with the video? Luckily, we live in the future, where all it takes is a few clicks in Adobe Premiere to match up your audio and video seamlessly. Let me show you how. Think before you sync. Syncing audio and video isn't difficult, but it can become tedious if you don't take certain steps when recording. So here are a few things to do before you start syncing. Number one, keep your on-camera audio to use as a reference or scratch track. You need an audio layer already attached to your video in order for synchronization to work. Typically, this comes from your camera's built-in mic. So even when you don't intend on using the on-camera audio, um, still make sure that it's being recorded. Number two, create a distinct visual and audio cue to use as a sync point. This is the reason for the slate or the clapper on a movie set, but you don't need an official slate to use the clap method. Once your video and audio devices are recording, have your subject clap once in front of their face. The abrupt sound will create a spike in the scratch track and the replacement audio waveforms, which you will use as a sync point. The backup visual cue of the hands clapping together uh, will serve as a backup sync point in case you don't have a scratch track or a reference. When you forget to create a sync point while recording, it'll happen eventually, uh, look for a noise that's common to both clips that you can use as a sync point, like a sneeze or a laugh or really expressive consonants. Number three, sync all video and audio clips before you start editing. Trust, link up all your replacement audio clips first, then proceed into editing with your synchronized clips. Also, it's a good idea to spend some time labeling your video and audio files before you bring them into Premiere, so that it's easier to figure out which files go together. Method number one, merge clips. The merge clips method is the fastest way to sync your clips. It's an automated process that occurs in the project panel, so all it takes from you is some mouse clicking. What it does is synchronize your replacement audio with the reference audio from your camera. Then it merges the video track with that replacement audio track and creates a new file for you. First, highlight your video clip and audio clip in the project panel. Right click and select merge clips. In the Merge Clips pop-up window, rename the merged file, set the synchronization point to audio, and check Remove Audio from AV Clip. Click OK. Your merge clip will appear in the project panel ready for editing. If you have a lot of clips to sync, create a folder inside your project to organize the merge clips. Method number two, synchronize. The synchronize method is another automated process, similar to the merging method, but it doesn't create a new file for you. Premiere aligns the files and leaves the rest up to you. This process occurs in the timeline. Drag your video clip and audio clip into the timeline. Your replacement audio clip should appear on a separate track below the reference audio. So for example, if your reference audio is on track one, your replacement audio would be on track two. Next, highlight all the clips in the timeline, right click, and select Synchronize. In the Synchronize Clips pop-up window, set the Synchronize point to Audio, and select the track of the reference audio, the one that you're syncing up to, and it's most likely the only option there. Click OK. And you can see that it has moved. Now listen and verify that the audio is in sync. Our scripture reading today is from the Bible. Looks good. Now we need to unlink the video clip from the reference audio. So highlight the AV clip, right click, and select unlink. Then delete the reference audio clip. Highlight it and hit backspace. Now highlight the newly synced video and audio clips right click and select link. Method number three, manual synchronization. 
There will come a time when Premiere's auto-sync features will fail you for whatever reason, and you will have to sync your clips manually. This is the most labor-intensive method, but it's easier than you think. And this is when you will rejoice that you remember to do the clap method. Drag your video clip and audio clip into the timeline. Once again, make sure your audio clips are on separate tracks. Scrub through both audio tracks until you find a spot that serves as a good sync point. Ideally, a clap or a loud sound that created a visible spike in the audio forms. If the audio waveforms are too small, expand the tracks by dragging the divider line down. Mark the sync point in each audio clip by selecting the clip and pressing M on the keyboard. Now align the clips at the markers. Listen and verify the audio is in sync. Our script reading today. It is not. Our script reading today is from the Bible. Looks good. Now let's unlink the video clip from the reference audio. Select the AV clip, right click, and click unlink. And now we'll delete the reference audio by highlighting just the audio track and hitting the delete key. Now highlight the newly synced video and audio clips, right click and select link. That's it. Happy syncing.